Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to walk you through the process of loading DICOM files into ImpliStation. Simply click on the New Project Load DICOM button in the tool panel, and then select the folder where your DICOM file is located. Consider the following options for opening DICOM files. Option 1. Load a multi-frame DICOM file. Go to the folder with the required files, choose the multi-frame DICOM file, and click Open. Option 2. Upload a single-frame DICOM file. Open the folder containing the frames, select one file, and click Open. Alternatively, click on the folder where all frames are stored and then click Open. Option 3. Load a zipped DICOM file without needing to unzip it first. The appeared preview window assists in preparing the DICOM image before uploading it to the project. The initial two lines of the preview window display general patient information and the file's size details, number of voxels and dimensions in millimeters. Clicking the button labeled I will provide additional detailed information about the DICOM image. This includes comprehensive patient data and specific examination DICOM details. This information will also be duplicated in the project. Choose the region of interest using the available tools. Switch between the MIP and ISO modes using toggling buttons. Use the crop tool to remove distracting or irrelevant portions of the CBCT CT scan. By simply left clicking, holding down the left mouse button, and dragging the purple box within the window, Use the rotation slider to adjust the occlusal plane or correct the orientation of the DICOM image. To adjust the visualization, drag the corresponding slider to adjust the image opacity threshold. If the image is high or low contrasted, use the reload button. Set the desired opacity threshold and click the reload button to get the necessary image quality. Click the OK button to start uploading the DICOM file to the project. Easily switch between MIP or ISO modes and adjust image opacity using the slider. For DICOM file information, click the Help button in the tool panel. Open the project info where you'll find the data seen in the preview window, extra project details, and the buttons to mirror the file along X, Y, or Z axis. In the DICOM file tab, there are several tools are available. The first is Cut. It works like a dark mask that covers parts of the image, which can be especially useful during the work. You can use the Cut tool only in a 3D window. Expand it for a better view and adjust the DICOM position. Place points around the cutting area to define it and double-click to finish the curve. Choose to cut inside or outside the selected area and save the created DICOM mask by clicking the Save button. The name of the mask will be displayed in the tab and you can modify it by clicking the Edit Title button. Add a necessary amount of DICOM masks if needed and switch between them during the work. Click Initial Image to revert to the original DICOM. The next tool is Cut Object. It cuts the volume of specific elements such as STL, crown, or guide from the DICOM texture. Click the necessary button to activate the tool. Then select the needed element and click on it. As long as the tool is active, you can cut the necessary number of objects. To complete the work with the tool, click the Cut Object button again. Save the created DICOM image by clicking Save. Click Initial Image to revert to the original DICOM. The DICOM file tab also includes a Convert to Surface tool, which combines the conversion and segmentation of DICOM. Follow the updates. We will provide a more detailed overview of the functionality and features of these tools in upcoming videos.